I'm Claire and I run the Salon Hampshire based out of the very unique setting of the Shedfield Equestrian Centre. Now if you, like most of us, have a drawer, cupboard, possibly multiples of each, filled with product after product of potions and cream that promised you volume, shine, smooth hair, curly hair and a multitude of other things but have never delivered. Well that's because, and this is what they all fail to tell you, no product will ever deliver without your help. So. With that in mind, I'm going to show you some great, and more importantly, easy tips to give you the hair at home you've always wanted, and I'm going to do it with the help of the amazing range of products from Milkshake. So nearly everyone is under the misconception that all the work when you wash your hair is being done by the conditioner. Quite the contrary, the shampoo is the key to vibrant, shiny hair. A conditioner job is to detangle and close the cuticle. The shampoo is the magic that cleanses, nourishes and maintains good hair and scalp hydration. So if you're only able to invest in one professional product, make sure it's a fantastic shampoo. Today we are going to use in Milkshake Colour Maintain Shampoo and Conditioner. So firstly, we are going to use the Incredible Milk 12 FX. It detangles, protects from heat, has a UV filter and will make hair smoother and easier to comb through. Priced at £16.49 and with the new Go Pink hair campaign, £1 from every product sold goes to breast cancer awareness. Hair is at its weakest when wet, so you want to treat it delicately. On longer hair, say past the shoulders, start combing at the bottom and work your way up using a wider tooth comb or a paddle brush. Now with all the milkshake products you don't need to use a lot, they are highly concentrated. Also try and stay away from the roots. The first inch or two requires little, if any, hydration. Then you want to rough dry the hair off a bit. Before you even pick up a brush, you want it at least 50% dry, with the exception of your fringe. This not only cuts down on time, but is better for the hair. Remember, the wetter the hair, the more delicate it is, so it really only needs to be damp. Always keep the dryer moving. You don't want to burn the hair, the scalp, or even your fingers. Even before applying a styling product, you want to get out some of the moisture. Now, I obviously can't tip Susie upside down, but I recommend that you tip your head over when doing this yourself. This will again give optimum root lift. You don't have to use a nozzle on your hair dryer for this, but I would recommend you do. It creates a more direct heat and will actually dry your hair quicker. In fact, you would always ideally use a nozzle. It may take a little bit of practice to work with it, but once you have the knack of it, it will save you lots of time and it will give you the best results. You want to work with the hair shaft to create smoothness and shine and against the hair shaft to create volume. When you've taken out some of the moisture, separate your parting and dry off your fringe if you have one. To create smoothness and an organic sense of movement, we are drying Susie's hair the opposite way to the way she wears it. This will give a softer effect and create a natural root lift. It will also stop the annoying fringe flick so many of us suffer with. We're now adding our styling product. We are using the shaping foam priced at 14 99 it's a lightweight foam that won't weigh down the hair or leave it sticky. You need no more than the size of a strawberry, as again it's highly concentrated. Massage through the hair and use your fingers. This will keep in the volume we've already achieved. Now you want to rough dry off a bit more. This time concentrating on the roots. Really massage and manipulate them. Pull them away from the scalp and use the dryer to blow upwards to create a maximum volume. Remember it's easier to take volume out than to put it in once hair is dry. Then separate the hair. Don't worry if they're not neat sections or straight lines. In fact, you don't want them to be. 
By manipulating the roots when rough drying, you really want to keep the brush away from the roots to keep that volume. If you're wanting straight glossy hair, use the nozzle to blow with the hair shaft from around two inches from the root. This will flatten the cuticle, creating smoother, shinier hair. Use the hairdryer to do the work. By blowing against the natural fall and using the cold option, even better if you have a cold shot button, you can create maximum root lift. This is done by heating and then cooling the hair very quickly. At this point, we still want to concentrate on getting lift in those roots. Again, don't forget to keep the dryer moving constantly. You don't want to burn the hair as this will create static. But by using a good styling product, static should be kept at a minimum anyway. And don't worry about the hair that blows up. That's just new hair growing and gravity will naturally lay it back down again, especially when the next section is laid over the top. If you want to create a wave, the easiest way at home is with a tool designed specifically for the task, but you still want to start the ball rolling. So using the brush, just gently twist and dry so the shape is already put in. This will make it easier to maintain the body that is often lost when using tongs and straighteners. Again, don't worry about neat sections and straight lines. You want to create a non-conformity that leaves a soft beach effect where the waves interlock and fall gently. Use a brush size that enables you to get one good turn of the hair, any smaller and you run the risk of entanglement. Better slightly too big than too small. And don't forget to keep using the hot cold method. This really is your best weapon when doing your own hair. Try and pull hair away from the roots so you don't lose any of the volume you spent time putting in. Again, when each wave is dry, use the cold shot to lock that wave in. This could be a great time to ask Santa for a nice new dryer with this feature. Alternatively though, you can use the heat setting turn to minimum. So roll and dry. Remember heat to dry, cold to set. Release and twist. Release and twist, leaving you the perfect little wave. Then repeat on the next section. So roll and dry. Release and twist. Doesn't need to be neat, remember. Also note how we are not taking the brush right to the root. By blowing the bottom inch of your hair straight from the root, especially when doing waves, you stop the triangular shape occurring. It creates a foundation without width. Do this all the way round and your waves will just lay gently over the top. Remember to try and point the nozzle down, going with the natural lay of the hair to lay the cuticle flat, against the lay for volume, with the lay for shine. Apart from the two front pieces that should be blow dried or curled away from the face, because this stops the pudding bowl effect, don't worry about getting the waves all going in one direction or in neat sections. In fact, the more non-uniform the curls are, the more natural the effect is. Again, using the heat and cooling method to lock those waves in place. By using this technique, you also get maximum shiny finish. To create volume on top, bring your hair back against the direction you want it to go. This way then when pushed back in the right direction, you created the volume and movement through that parting. Then use your fingers and the dryer to mess it up a bit. Naturally moving hair will always look better. We all want hair that swishes and it's not stuck to our heads. This also helps with the single most important rule when drying your hair. Make sure, and honestly I cannot stress this enough, make sure your hair is 100% dry. The slightest bit of dampness left will undo all the hard work you've put in. You do not want everything you've done to have been for nothing. Now the comment I hear most often from clients is how they can't create waves themselves at home. So here is a few tips when curling your hair with straighteners. Now remember how we said to do the front section, either side of your face, away, towards the back. That is honestly the only real rule. You'll find this will give a softer line and make cheekbones more pronounced. When doing any of the waves, you only need to start halfway down the hair. You don't want to go near the roots at all. No one wants to look like they're wearing a crash helmet. And by staying away from the roots, you prevent this from happening. 
then just roll and twist. It does not matter if your waves are going in different directions, you want them to. That way when you run your fingers through, or even better, just slip your fingers into the hair near the scalp and shake. Making sure you take the fingers out the same way you put them in. Don't drag them through the hair, otherwise you'll create fizz. It will create a much more even and natural look. Then you can apply serum or spray. We are using the glistening spray, priced at eighteen forty nine. It only requires a very light spray, then gently use your fingers to scrunch into the waves and separate the odd one to create definition and style. You then want to hold all your good work in place. We are using the Stronghold Hairspray, priced at $14.99. Gently spray at a distance of at least six inches. Use the spray in your fingers to scrunch your waves into place. This again gives a much more natural effect. A great trick is spray your hand and gently run over the top. That gets rid of any of the little flyaway bits we all get. Then just a final light spray over the head, letting the spray just softly fall over the hair will hold it in place without leaving a sticky residue. And to finish, a glossifying spray. Let it shine at price to $18.99 is my go-to product. Shiny hair always looks healthier and more polished. Just lightly across the mid lengths and ends and there you are. In less than 15 minutes a blow dry that looks like you've stepped out of the salon every day. Minimal time, minimal effort. And now the fantastic Christmas duo sets are available, priced at 28 99 with either the Colour Maintain shampoo and conditioner, which we use today on Susie, or the Integrity shampoo and conditioner if you're looking for something a little bit more hydrating. Or why not try the triple product gift set? It contains a shampoo, conditioner and a leave-in treatment and comes in this oh so handy wash bag. There's the Moisture Plus for hair that tends to be a little bit on the drier side, or the Silver Shine for keep those blondes glossy and shiny. And don't forget to check out our website and Facebook stores for lots more great products. Shampoos, conditioners, styling products, finishing products, nails and beauty, and our extensive Osmo range. So I hope that some of the tips we've given you today will help you make use of the amazing products, all of which are available via our website. So thank you for joining us here at the Salon today and don't forget to check out our Facebook and Insta at the Salon Hampshire and our website at thesalonhampshire.com.